me, now I gotta clap back. Hey. No, I'm okay, welcome back, guys. So I'm gonna be talking about the clapback, the whole idea behind clapback, basically. So clapback itself, um, it's actually diss track, if you can't tell by the lyrics. What happened was, I was in a relationship, I broke up with the person, and I released my first song called X5, right? If you haven't listened to it, it's gonna be linked below. No shame promo. <laughs> so after I released my first song, I got this diss track written about me for zero reason. So I was like, okay, that's kind of weird, but that's fine. I basically got a diss track written about me. I was like, listen, that's not chill. That's not cool. That's not lit. So guess what I did? I clapped back, bro. I wrote a diss track back. Hello. It's like my response. Clap back is basically a diss track towards the person who wrote the diss track about me. So like my ex. So that's like the backstory behind it. So I guess let's get into the lyrics because that's where like the story really unfolds. Okay, so also beginning of the song, kind of funny because, you know, my song was called X5. The person who wrote a diss track about me tried to be funny, make it called Rolla because they had a Toyota Corolla. So the diss track for my song, X5, their name was Rolla. So at the beginning of Clapback, there's actually a car starting up and then it crashes. So, a little tidbit, you didn't know. Getting into the lyrics, I said, oh, you come at me, now I gotta clap back. So, obviously, that's, you know, that's pretty self-explanatory, like, you come at me, I got the diss track written about me, I clap back, and then it says, got my necklace hanging in your car, why are you doing that? Funny story in the necklace. Um, we had gone on a date to an OU game, and I had this OU necklace that I had worn on the date, and so, blah, blah, blah. Later on, um, he took the necklace and he hung it in his car like while we were still dating. So we broke up and like months later, he still had the same necklace hanging in his car. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> so that's what that line means. It's like, got my necklace hanging in your car. Why are you doing that? Throw it away, buddy. And then it says, Dumbo ears looking ass. I bet you heard that. It's because all of this, <laughs> this is terrible, but um, he had like big ears and all of his friends would call him like, like Buddha, cause you know Buddha has like big ears. So I said like Dumbo ears. Anyways, that's kind of bad, but it's okay. Don't step on my shit, bitch. You shouldn't have done that. Nope. Bitch, you shouldn't have done that. Bitch, you shouldn't have done that. Now Kiki gotta clap back. Bitch, you shouldn't have done that. So obviously it's me like clapping back. It's really awkward. I said so scram boy, cause you ugly, you a lame, and I hate to break it to you, but you ain't about my game. So that means like clearly the song did not compare to mine. Um, goes back into the chorus. Oh, you come at me now, I gotta clap back, blah, blah, blah. And then I said getting friends of part two. Ho ass tricks yet they want the clap too. That means basically like, um, I think he wanted to, oh no, you know why I said that? I said getting friends of part two. So this girl he started seeing right after we broke up, um, he got friend zoned by her right away. And I felt kind of bad, so that's why I'm saying, like, he got friend zone part two. Because, like, the first time he tried to date me, I friend zoned him. And then we ended up dating. We break up. And then he got friend zoned again right after we broke up. It was just kind of funny. And then it says his best friend asked me what the mouth do, boo. Because his friend tried to get with me after we broke up. I was like, that's not, like, really a friend because he's trying to be a little bit more than a friend. But, uh, yeah, that was kind of kind of weird. I said, my ex still trying to kiss me now. You really want to diss me? Damn. Why are you so clingy, huh? Why are you so clingy? It's like he couldn't get over the fact that we like broke up or whatever. And then it goes into the talking part. So basically that's like me hyping myself up. Like, look, I don't even understand, man. Like, why, are you, why do you keep doing this? I was just trying to live my life and you're over here like, you know, coming at me for no reason. And I said, it's, this isn't about you anymore. Cause yeah, I guess he thought like, I was trying to do all this stuff to like, get his attention but I'm that's this is me saying like this isn't about you anymore this is this is about me this is who I am this is Kiki bitch so that's just like me like saying like hey I'm doing this music thing like this is about me not, not about you this is about me and then it goes into it says anorexic dyslexic better than my exes so it's kind of messed up but whatever um the reason I said anorexic dyslexic is because after we broke up, he lost like 20 pounds. I don't know, he lost like a bunch of weight. And then, um, dyslexic, it rhymes with anorexic. 
basically this boy <laughs> thought he was dyslexic, but he was not. He could read and he's like, mom, I need to go get tested. I swear I'm dyslexic and all this stuff. I was like, no, you're not. It's just really funny. Like he was so convinced that he was dyslexic, but he literally wasn't. He could read fine. Anyways, it says better than my exes because clearly look at me. Look at him. I mean, you tell me who's winning. Um, and it says don't stress and I'm flexing. He's checking and guessing the song is a blessing. Hope you learned your lesson. Hope you learned your lesson. Like don't do it again, obviously. And then it says Beaky back being bull major beef bistro bitch. So Beaky back being bull. It's like a song like Bickin Back Bean Bull. I'm just, you know, Bickin Back Bean Bull. And then so I said, instead of Bickin, it's like Beaky, like Kiki, but with a B, Beaky. The major beef, obviously it's like we got like major beef. And it's funny cause like the place I was working at the time, um, there's this order, I think it's the 84 and it's called, or maybe, no, it's the 80, yeah, the number 80. It's, it's called Beef Bistro Tenderloin. So that's where I got major beef bistro. It's just kind of funny. Major beef, Fisher bitch. And then I go, stop pressing, stay it at my DMs. You less than the Kiki that you were impressed with. So he was always in my DMs trying to hate on me for zero reason. So I just had to throw that in there to set the record straight. And then it says, I'm cashing and you trashing, you laughing and I'm smashing. You ain't the type of dude that I want to hit the pack with. And then I said, you on the back burner, you got left. I'm the bad bitch you wish that you had met. That one's pretty self-explanatory. And then, like, you wish you hadn't met me because now you can't forget about me, you know what I'm saying? Take a cush hit, but don't forget you a bitch. Keep a chip in your shoulder, but don't forget what I told you. Like, don't forget, you know, like, don't do it again. You know what I mean? I'm like, bitch, you shouldn't have done that. And then at the end, I said, no, 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 just stop the track, bro. I I I'm done. I didn't start this. I I'm just here to finish it. I thought that was, like, perfectly summed up the song. That's, like, the message behind the lyrics. So basically clap back because it is track. So. so the beat I got from my friend John. I actually did not help on the beat for this one. I just got it from my friend John. So the song took maybe like a month or two. I was working with two people, T Mac and Dwayne, and they helped me do the song. Um, and then John obviously had the beat. Bitch, you should have done that. <laughs> Bitch, you should have done that. Wrong. You shouldn't have done that, but what you should do is like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Also, check out my merch on my website. Hello? Buy my merch. Thanks. Talking top dog, but bitch, you a soft pup. <laughs> If you wonder who this is, this is K-I-K-I, bitch Chuck a 40 on my hip, I've been looking on that trouble Look down and check your wrist, that's a hundred, this is double Heavy metal, flex a muscle, I be ballin' cobbly muscle, big boy talks Five, the Urban Decay. I'm gonna take my Dampen Beauty Blender. It's already pre-dampened. And then I, what I do is I take this directly onto my face. So this is, you can apply it to the back of your hand and then put it on your face, but I like to just put it on my face and then blend it from there. So I'm just gonna pump a little bit out onto my face. Now I gotta clap back Got my necklace hanging in your car Why you doing that? Demo ears looking ass I bet you heard that Don't step on my shit Bitch you shouldn't have done that Nope Nope Bitch you shouldn't have done that <laughs> Bitch you shouldn't have done that Wrong Now Kiki gotta clap back Bitch you shouldn't have done that One, one, you one
want to eat it up. Try M M M M M I A, bitch, he might go in my A. Hey, he been on my socials like he worked for CIA. Hey, about to see your man, send you a PSA. What M I A, bitch, he might go in my A. M I A, bitch, he might go in my A. Hey, wanna pat me down like he worked for TSA. Hey, M I A, bitch, he might go in my A. Hey.